Good morning, my fellow SAT students. Um, what I wanted to talk about this morning was that in my previous video, um, I gave you instructions on how to prepare a customer invoice using the transaction code FB70, and that's what we did in our previous video. Now in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to check the status of the invoice that we had just posted into the system, and we're going to use transaction code FD10N to do that. So you have to be in the SAP Easy Access screen because that's the only place where you can type in transaction codes. So you type in FD10N into the status bar, and basically it will ask you about a customer. So you click on to the little, uh, the little piece of sheet, white sheets of paper, and then you uh, click on to your customer. So in the last video, we were working on customer number Doug. So we click on the customer number Doug, you come over here to the little clock, and when you come over to the little clock, then basically what that does is that tells you the status of Doug on the general ledger account. And basically what that's saying is that in Doug, you have a debit of £1,000 and a balance of £1,000, and it was a sale of £1,000. And so that's your total. You can also, I believe you can also double click onto this to further refine it. And it will give you more information about that £1,000 invoice that you created. It gives you the document number, the payment date, um, any discounts, which there are not any in the amount and the type which is a debit. So that's a good way. After you have entered an invoice into SAP, then it is always a good idea to go back into the system and use transaction code FD10N to check to make sure that it has gone through.